Hey everyone, Ash here. And unfortunately, when we headed, when I headed my ship into the uh, P. Canis sector block, one of those deals by Spock came up, and I wasn't. And I, uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to replay that. Replay that, but uh, hopefully next time out, next time whenever I head into a new area, one of these over here or. No, I already went down there. But hopefully uh, next time I won't uh, forget to do that. Anyways, we need to head into this system to do the uh, to do the uh, mission. Hold on a second. To all Federation ships, this is the SS Boyce. We are taking fire from Gorn fighters, and we need aid from any ships in range. Repeat, we are being attacked by Gorn and need help. Right, so let's let's head this direction and take care of these frigates. But yeah, um, I apologize. I wasn't able to get the uh, I wasn't able to get the deal of Spock talking about the uh, new area that we moved into. But once I uh, once I hit the rank of commander, I uh, 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 ran right into the freighter there. Once I. Uh, I get to the rank of commander, I'll be able to uh, get another one of those. Alright, there should be another another frigate somewhere. That photon torpedo just kind of clipped. That photon torpedo clipped right through that uh, ship there. Alright, let's turn around here and fire at, the, uh, fire at this frigate. Boom. Destroyed. Torpedo. Alright. Alright. Turn around here. Fire a quantum torpedo. Alright. Another torpedo there, and there we go. Thanks for the assistance. We devoted our deliveries to deploy these emergency power emitters, but now we need your help to activate them. Our starboard power coupling is blown and we're reading damage to our navigation system and warp core. If you can reroute the satellite's energy output to us, we can uh, use them to keep our shields up while we make repairs. Alright, so, so we need to go over here and mess with these satellites. However, of course, However, of course, there's going to be going ships here. So we need to we need to take this uh, Dragus cruiser's attention off of that uh, freighter and a uh, freighter and a. Uh, once we uh, destroy this Dragus cruiser, we can activate the satellite. Photon torpedo. Let's turn and see. Let's turn and see if I can uh, fire the quantum torpedo now. Come on, come on, f quantum torpedo, quantum torpedo. Ouch! Hit by mines. All right, come on, come on, turn around and. Turn around, quantum torpedo. Now, photon torpedo. Uh, come on. Okay, just a bit more. Boom. Another photon torpedo there. Come on, come on. Just a bit more. That quantum torpedo. Yes, yeah, so let's take the items and uh, activate the activate the deal. All right. Now we need to head this direction and activate this satellite. Alright, activate this. 
and I think I can activate this one without without uh, ha having to attack that Dragus cruiser there. Uh, okay, let's let's interact with this and get rid of it. Right. Alright, there's obviously a satellite that I'm missing. Let's see what let's see what we got. Apparently it's inside this asteroid here. Ah, sure enough, there it is. Right. The boys is hailing us, Captain. Power levels are holding steady, Commander. We can handle it from here. Thanks for help. Thanks for the helping hand. It's always nice to see Starfleet protecting the trade routes. Captain, incoming message from Starfleet. A Vulcan medical ship, the Tapao, is requesting assistance. We're the closest ship. I've laid course of the Tapao's coordinates, sir. We can leave at your command. All right. Now that we've taken care of these uh, satellites, we can warp to uh, warp to the warp to the Tapao and help with the. Uh, Whatever they need. Hailing the Tapao, sir. Channel open. I am Salar, captain of the Vulcan medical ship Tapao. There is an outbreak of a Tacanian syndrome on the planet's surface. It is the utmost importance that the uh, medical supplies we carry be delivered immediately. Please accompany, please accompany us to the planet and defend us from enemy ships. And uh, there is the ship right there, so. Yeah, typical, uh, typical Vulcan design here. Ring, ring in the middle. Uh, yeah, it's actually in the middle. Ring in the middle. Uh, those rings on the uh, Vulcan ships actually kind of kind of remind me of a uh, what are they called a uh, Jedi starfighters from Star Wars. But no, these are Vulcan ships. I'm sure any moment now we're going to be attacked by uh, something. I'm not sure what. Probably, probably, go Blech. probably more Gorn ships. Oh, and sure enough, sure enough, as soon as I say that, we get attacked by a Gorn vessel. Let's see if we can uh, attract his att attract uh, his attention uh, off from the uh, medical ship. Right, photon torpedo. Wow, that actually that photon torpedo actually did quite a bit of damage. I'm not sure if the uh, Tapal here is actually equipped with any weapons. Quantum torpedo. All right, photon torpedo. All right. Wow, we're <laughs> we're actually doing significant damage to this ship here. Just a little bit more, and we should destroy this ship. Boom! Boom! Let's see. Uh, All right. Now that we've taken care of a, uh, now that we've taken care of that. Uh, now that we've taken care of that Gorn ship, we can continue heading on. I'm not exactly sure why they have to follow the nav beacons here. Usually when usually when I have to go down to the planet, I could just fly at the planet, but no. Nope. No, nope, this uh the Vulcan ship has to fly past the beacons. While I'm doing that, let me attach this. Let me attach this to this. Uh What's this? Starship mines. I do not. I do not have any mines equipped to this ship yet. What kind of what kind of ship do we have here? Doesn't no word doesn't say.
up. Frigates. Anyways, I am out of time. So, when we come back, we'll continue dealing with the Gorn ships. Later.